Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what we need to know for this one is that y varies directly with x. So therefore, we can write this in one of these two equations. Um, and so it says is if y is equal to 4 when x is equal to negative 2. So that's going to be one ver direct variation. They want us to find x when y is equal to 6. So when you have two direct variations, um, and they're going to have, they both vary directly with each other with the same constant. What we can do is we can set them equal to each other. So if they both vary directly with each other, that means their constant is going to be equal. That means I can say that y over x is equal to k and y over x is equal to k. Therefore, I can just write y over x is equal to y over x. So I have my first part, which I'm going to plug 4 in for y and negative 2 in for x, is equal to y equal to 6, and they want us to find x. Now, when we have a ratio equal to another ratio, I think the easiest thing to solve ratios is to apply, cross, apply the cross product. So I do 4 times x, which is 4x, is equal to negative 2 times 6, which is equal to negative 12. Now, to solve for x, I divide by 4, divide by 4, x is equal to negative 3. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. When you have two direct variations, or two uh, direct variations, you need to solve for a variable. Well, that's how you do it. Thanks.